Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. I struggled for a bit to think about what to do today, but eventually I decided, you know what, I'll do a video that I can make a flip side tomorrow, which is my five least favorite things in Wizard 101. Obviously tomorrow will be my probably five favorite things in Wizard 101, depending on how well this video does, obviously. But before we get into this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You guys have been doing a fantastic job. I've gained like a hundred and something subs since the round table, which is much more than I've gained like probably in the last month combined. So I really do appreciate that and keep that up. Again, I want to hit 4,000 by the end of the year, but now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video, which is my five least favorite things in Wizard 101. Starting at number five, the fact that there are no new players in this game. Now, obviously, I've said in the past, I think that there is a lot more newer players than people think. I just think that there's still a there's a significant lack of new players that would make this game feel very, very fresh again. I feel like King's Isle hasn't done the best job advertising their game. And I've said this in the past, I think it would be really cool if they bring back the old commercials that they did on TV and start pushing it out to children again. I think that would be really, really cool. And I hope that they do something like that. But I think that the lack of new players has really made the game a bit stale. There's a lack of new faces. A lot of people you see are just fully maxed out. Like when I go to the commons, you know, a lot of the people I see are either maxed out or they are new characters created by people so that they can beg for packs. It's, it's like those are the two types of people you see in the comments and I miss the days when I could go in the comments and see like a bunch of level 1 to 30s um, and then like people asking for help with things, all those types of things. I miss that, right? I miss those days and I kind of want them back. So I hope in the future potentially we could see some new players coming to Wizard 101, but it all depends on if King's Isle decides to advertise their game or not, and how much they decide to advertise it. Number four, and this, I would like to say this top five aren't like a strict order, but definitely there's an order to them. Number four is the paywall. Now, I would like to say I hate it just as much as everyone else. I think it definitely should be at least pushed back to the end of Wizard City, potentially even um, some way through Krakatopia. But I think that it's currently a little bit, uh, iffy in regards to the game. I feel like it's one of the things that wards off new players from coming to the game, going along with the last point, and the fact that, you know, I I have a ton of Wizard 101 accounts. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have uh, three Wizard 101 accounts, and I have uh, a Pirate 101 account as well, meaning that I'm paying for a membership on all four of them. I actually don't know if I'm still paying for membership on the Steam account. If I am, I should probably cancel that, so I you know, so all my money doesn't just go down the drain from it. Yeah, I'm paying at least $30 a month to King's Isle, which is, you know, quite a bit more than I want to. I'll be completely honest. But, you know, it happens. I, I think that King's Isle either needs to lessen the membership price a little bit or start focusing more on making more free-to-play content. I just think that there's a lot of this game that you know, being locked behind a paywall isn't really beneficial to it. Like, I think that if they made it so that more areas of the game were free, more people would play. I can tell you that if, like, Up to Krakatopia was free, I probably would play a little bit more without a membership. You know, I'd create an account and create some wizards, go get them all up to Krakatopia, all that. I think that it would be really cool, but, uh, you know, what can you do? It's, it's, it's how the game functions and it's probably how the game is going to function for a while. Number three is actually, uh, school identity. The reason why I dislike this and I was thinking about making a video on it, ultimately decided not to because I couldn't, I'm not creative enough to think of a 10 minute video or whatever for school identity, but I think, um, school identity in this game right now is in a pretty bad place. I, I could talk about this for, for a while, but I'm going to try not to take up like a majority of the video with this one topic alone. School identity is in a bad state right now. I would say each of the schools isn't doing what they're supposed to. And the reason for that is, is that they kind of, uh, they biffed it a little bit. They dropped the ball when they made the Dragoon gear. They made it much too strong, and I've said this in the past, and I know that it's a controversial opinion, but just because it's a controversial opinion doesn't mean it's not the right one. I think that the Dragoon gear is a little bit too strong, and the reason for that is, is that every wizard now, no matter what school you are, can get up to 150 damage. That means literally any school is a viable hitter in this game. I think a lot of people severely, they, they think either, okay, only fire or storm can hit. That's just not true. As long as you have, I would say about maybe 130 damage, 
challenge, you could kill any boss in this game pretty easily as any school. And I think that a lot of people don't really think about that. And every school now can get into like the 150s of damage. I would say any school could theoretically hit nowadays and be just fine. And I don't think that that's how it should be. It shouldn't be that like ice can, you know, hit just as well as say a life or a myth if they want to, or even a balance. I think that, uh, you know, they should be a little bit more strictly confined to their own roles, and I think that that's a problem. I think it's important to know that I think that each school should have an identity, but that identity isn't being locked hard enough by King's Isle, and that's a major issue. Number two on our list is PvP. Now, I know that uh, this is not a popular opinion. Well, okay, it's it's a half popular opinion. Anyone who, you know, doesn't like PvP will agree with me here. PvP has some problems with it. I've gone over this in the past. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I think that uh, PvP is just a little bit boring. I, I don't find I don't find it to be fun. Every time I've done it, I've just not had fun. And you could say that uh, you know that's because I lost constantly, but that's not even true. I was winning matches. You know, it was just like it didn't feel rewarding. It didn't feel good to ascend the ranks. And I think that that's a problem. I don't know exactly how King's Isle would fix that for me. Maybe it's just that I'm not as interested in card game PvP. I don't know how I was dragged there. I was so far away from these guys. But like, for example, it's not that I'm not a competitive person. I really enjoy playing Valorant. And in Valorant, I am competitive and I like to win. But in this game, I don't like the PvP content. And I don't know if it's just that I think it's too boring to the point where I won't do it or if it's that there's something wrong with the meta obviously you guys can let me know in the comments do you think that there's a problem with the meta right now I don't know but I've never had a single inkling of interest in ever doing pvp and I think that uh that really can just be left at that coming in at number one on our list and this might uh I don't know if this is controversial but I'm just gonna say it I think my number one most disliked thing in wizard 101 is the people now you may be like, but Noah, the community is so strong, so good. Yes, that's true. I, I love you guys. Don't get me wrong. I love us as a community. I think me specifically, my channel is really a good community and has built up this, you know, audience. And I, I can't think of the word for it, but definitely like YouTube isn't really the problem. The problem that I have is the different people that you just meet consistently in this game. Whether it be the people in the commons asking for crowns, whether it be the people in the commons talking about nudes on OnlyFans, whether it be just rude, toxic people, it's just there's so many people that I just dislike in this game and I hate. Like, I, I genuinely hate doing things, right? And there's a few reasons for this. One, I can't do Darkmoor anymore. I haven't done Darkmoor in about four years now, and the reason for that is... <laughs> is that well, what can I do, right? I can't go in a team up because the people, there, there's two different types of people in Darkmoor. There's the people that are just incredibly toxic and rude. And if you're one of these people and you don't think that you're the problem, you're like, if you go up to someone and be like, bro, you're weak. It's like, why aren't you doing this and stuff? And you're doing it in a rude way. You were the problem. They are not the problem. And you need to fix yourself. You need to like think about your life for a second and be like, okay, maybe I should stop being such a dick. But those people are the worst like the to absolute toxic assholes those are the worst types of people in this game then there's either the newer players or the storm wizards and they're very very similar except a storm wizard will be dumb no matter what level they are sorry to all you storm wizard fans but it's just true but the problem is that i find they don't understand how this game works is my issue and it's me it's not even because this game doesn't teach you how it works it's just because they didn't really try is what i'm saying and what i'm talking about specifically is the people that go into dark more as a fire or a storm have 30 damage like literally 30 percent damage which means they didn't get even like zeus gear right because you can get that more than that at level 30. The people who have 30% damage and then insist on hitting because they're fire or storm, despite the fact that me as a life has like 100 damage, 120 damage, and I would be a better option anyway. I think people just can't think logically. They need to stop and think for a second. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be the hitter in this situation, considering the fact that I have like significantly less damage. Like I'm telling you right now, even an ice with 100 damage is going to hit harder than a fire or a storm with 30. And I think that that's a problem, is that there's a lack of critical thinking. I could rant about this for a long time, the people in this game, but I think that this is really 
it. I don't want to ramble for too long about them. I think that that's just the main issue I wanted to bring up, is that I don't think a lot of people think logically, and a lot of people are just toxic. So that would probably be my number one most disliked thing in this game, but I would say, I, you know, I will say, I love the community. I love the community I've cultivated, but I, I think that's the problem, is the community I've cultivated is the exact opposite of these people that I dislike in Wizard 101. It's not the people who are toxic 140s in dungeon wondering why a low level has low damage and then making fun of them for having low damage. I don't think that there's anyone really in my community like that. I hope not anyway. If you are, you're not welcome here. Go away. And then I don't think, I think a lot of people, if they watch my videos, they know a bit about the game because I hope that I've imparted some knowledge to you about the game at some point in, in your life, you know? So really, that's all I wanted to go over today. That's my, that's my like top five least favorite things in Wizard 101. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there any of these that you think are, are wrong? I think a few people will think like PvP is not supposed to be on here, but that's okay, you know? I understand that some people like PvP, I'm just not one of those. I think that it's it's one of my least favorite things in this game. That doesn't mean it's one of the worst things in this game. And I think that's uh, incredibly important to stress, is it's not the fact that these are the worst things in the game, it's these are my least favorite things in the game. There's a significant difference. So, uh, that's going to be it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, uh, go support me financially at Patreon, and join my Discord server if you wish. But that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Adios.